Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! There are many young people who are rising, but the only ones who are celebrating right now are preachers. That means it will make other people who are not in the preaching dimension to feel that they are not part of it. Now, the same way there are young men and women rising apostolically and prophetically in Nigeria, you will start seeing a parallel in the business line. You write it down. You will see young men who will arise, people who will be summoned by the economic powers of the land to vet them and say, by what technology are you accessing the riches of the earth? And they will be as spiritual. And you are going to see people who will rise up supposedly from nowhere. Are we together now? And elections in their various places, their various regions, what level, they will win it with a landslide victory to the point that you will say, but it looks like we are rewriting politics because the hand of God is the one behind what we are seeing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. wrapping up let me teach you something when I began my training with God by reason of my background and at that time it was a moment where God was beginning to do great things and to build people as it is with God when he starts out with people it was just fasting prayer consecration the word are we together visions of revival but when i had the vision that represented my mandate it confused me for many years because in that vision i saw a generation of people i've shared it with you many times you've heard it that it was a generation of people and they were crying and in that vision i came i was upstairs a building hiding from people who were maybe wanted to enjoy me or something like that and when I looked at the people, those in front were zoomed to me. And they said, I asked them what is wrong. And I remember them saying, no food and no water. And I said, ah, ah, no food and no water. How does that relate to spirituality? And then I said, who is the cause? And they pointed to me. I said, me, I can't be that wicked to do this to you. And then I said, okay, I'm coming to help you. Where would I get the food and water? I opened that door and it was not a chef I saw. When I opened that door to go out, I said, if I perish, I perish. I saw an old, bearded, gray-headed man. Now I know he's the Holy Spirit. And he held my tiny hands to go and serve food and water. Do you need a chef or you need an old man? hear me there are some of you today by reason of this teaching if you want to be effective go back to school while we are praying be praying too but go back and get your phd and your professorship because your assignment it may not be for everybody but for you there is a place you have left where destiny has been crying. Who should occupy this position? You are here joining us in prayer. We don't need to have a PhD. We don't need to be professors. We have found solace in priesthood. But we'll be wicked to tell you don't do yours. Esther, don't look for a man of God alone. Look for Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins. He is the authorized mentor to train you. If he's a hazardous, that you want to sit near 
it will take more than Mordecai is there as a man of God but in addition to Mordecai look for Haggai he's the one who trains the keepers the women who are with the king no matter how Mordecai loves you he cannot give you the training of royalty because Mordecai sits at the gate he's an intercessor he's the one who will caution you but he's not the one who will make you queen Ruth if you want to leave your assignment obtain grace from God and don't run away from Naomi when you see her because if you run away from Naomi looking for Elijah you will never see Boaz the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope Elijah if you know you are called to be a prophet you better look for Elijah even when Daniel calls you don't go your destiny is with Elijah don't make the mistake of leaving Elijah to be trained by Daniel Daniel cannot make Elisha to carry the double portion of Elijah's mantle Is someone learning? Dear businessman, do not think less of your passion to have financial resources for kingdom advance. Provided your heart is right and it's not a search for mundane carnal acquisition of things. But hear me. I give you a precaution and I give you a warning. Every time the king calls, whether you are Elijah, whether you are Daniel, whether you are Anna the prophetess, the position is to take off your crown from everywhere. Whether you are in government house, in the research institute, you are here standing like me preaching, or you are someone leading a leadership institute, you are a justice, or you are whoever. The moment there is the clarion call of the king together. They teach us in social studies um, government nationalism and all kinds of courses that anywhere you are when you hear the national anthem of your nation what did they teach that you do that you stand where you are because the moment the national anthem comes you are no longer a professor you are no longer a banker you are no longer a doctor you are the citizen of that nation when you see an american person or a british i can't remember which of the nation we traveled to and i was on my way returning i think that was last year and then i noticed everybody was standing at the airport i said what's happening they said they're about to sing the national anthem i said oh wow i'm not a nationality of that nation but i had to stand to respect their honor so when the master says believe us fast he didn't tell men of god he told all of us when he says believers seek my face he's not speaking to a man of god are we together one thing that happened to everybody was that it was their relationship with god that caused them to excel ruth if you leave god boaz will look at you like a village girl who needs help and never be able to marry you Elijah, if you leave God, you will be one of those prophets. Maybe a false one. Joseph, if you leave God, you will remain in prison there. Even if you come out of prison, you will go back home, not the throne. The factor that does not change is Jesus Christ and his purposes. This is sound doctrine. This is discipleship that turns members to ambassadors let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen god is tired of church members i don't say that to mean membership is wrong you understand the context god is tired of membership who are like sheep, respectfully speaking without direction and anything the there are many believers who are confused in their spiritual adventure the reason why many people are living the faith life is because there is no excitement and purpose connected to it now when you come for koinonia every week as i am teaching you there is purpose connected to what i'm telling you when i teach you on finances i will teach with the same passion 
as when I'm teaching on fasting and prayer because in my economy there is no difference provided it is a tool that reveals Jesus I will teach it with the same passion there are some of you here when we are talking of prayer and fasting you listen when we are talking of revival you are happy but when we are talking of influence principles of territorial you know kingdom advancement you just shut down and say Kai this is not what I want to hear it's a mistake it's a mistake you must embrace the whole counsel of God there is the area of emphasis forever I'm a man of God that is my assignment if you see me talk among business people is an elective if you see me talk among politicians and the rest my core assignment is here ah. and I'll be a true soldier I'll do as it beats me whatever the cost I'll be a true soldier We spend ourselves and wear ourselves because we have come to find out that he is more than life. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, 6, 6.30, I'm out of this city again. Preaching for Baba Wale, okay. In Ibadan. By night, I'm on my way to Lagos, returning back, then Cote d'Ivoire. Why am I doing this? It's more than fame. If it's fame, writing a book is cheaper than stretching yourself. Please look at me. I want you to look up to us as we follow Jesus sincerely. But as you look up to us, you better be honest to find out whether if you are Esther, thank God for Mordecai, but please find Haggai. If you are Elisha, even if you find Moses, look for Elijah. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Yes. There are business people who are being mentored by prophets. You will be a prayer warrior, not an economic giant. Respect the prayer warrior, but find a sound financial mentor with a kingdom dimension who will teach you the economic system of the cosmos while you honor the prophet. You are truly trained by the one who helps you become. Are we together? There are people here by reason of your assignment. God is subjecting you to high level influence and exposure. I'm not teaching you dishonor. The truth is that sometimes we men of God, by reason of our assignment, God may not have to expose us that much. But your own assignment requires that you understand the ethics of royalty you understand the ethics of culture and how to navigate yourself if you are mentored only by the man of god teaching you on stage you will fail when you stand before kings in addition to what mordecai does it is Haggai who will teach you what the king wants and Haggai said let me teach you something he told us something mordecai never told her he said when it has to do with ahasuerus i have worked with him I know what he wants take this oil let me teach you what the king wants rub this oil for one year when Daniel went to Babylon it was not Bible study they were teaching them there they taught them the way of the Babylonians is it in your Bible the anointing he had from priesthood empowered him to be ten times better but what exalted him was his ability to solve real-life problems This is what the Spirit of God has been telling me. I have a responsibility to contribute my own quota with love, no sense of self righteousness or justification to charge the body of Christ. Pastors, men of God, we need to trust God for grace to unashamedly begin to embrace an authentic apostolic and prophetic structure that will host the revival coming and to preserve it for generations unborn. May God forbid that if Christ tarries and we no longer are here, somebody will be teaching one day and say, see where apostle got it wrong. He taught you to just pray and fast, but he taught you to reject influence. So Esther did not go to the palace and her man's plot found its way. It is amazing that when God wanted to deal with her man, 
it was not Hagar he called. He called Esther. There are many dimensions of the victory of Christ that is not men of God who will produce. There is a dimension of wickedness. Look up please. As anointed as we are, men of God, has this solved Boko Haram problem? Please talk to me. Are we not praying? Are we not fasting? Has it solved the problem of terrorists and bandits and the rest? We continue to pray. But it will take more than that. That should be a lesson to us. As far as prayer is concerned, as far as fasting is concerned, as far as communicating sound doctrine is concerned. But when we have a judge who is anointed, are we together? By the time there is a case somewhere and there is a threat against the program of God because that person has had the legal qualification plus the anointing that has come from the man of God. Now you can defend not only the purposes of, of, of Christians but the purposes of, of a civil life, a life of excellence and dignity. A man of God can be anointed to go for a crusade. But one airline that will face financial bankruptcy can stop the person. That's it. A man of God can be anointed to go somewhere, but a poor image of a nation can make the person to be thrown back from that nation, return back to your country. We need to understand the holistic implication of this. You can be anointed without a passport and a visa. You will not travel to go and preach anywhere. And if the person... Who is responsible for the passport and the visa is under the influence of a demon spirit your ministry will die a natural death are we together no matter how anointed you are as a man of God is it not the givings of God's people that will help you build the house for God if the people are not empowered and then you now ask them to give is fraud hallelujah going to pray worshipers arise businessmen arise apostles arise prophets arise captains of industry arise territorial mentors capacity builders arise Royalties arise. Footballers arise. Athletes arise. Music ministers arise. Doctors arise for God's sake. Tech giants arise. Manufacturers arise. Producers beyond oil arise. That is the name and that is the formation of the army that will return Christ. When it is time to fast, everyone fast like you are a man of God. When it is time to pray, pray like the only thing in your destiny is the prophetic but when it's time to go through that distribution the geography of your weakness take back your crown put it on your head and stand like the champion that you are we will not call you a prayer warrior when we see you on TV we will call you the consultant surgeon the one recognized by United Nations but when you come to my office and I meet you after we talk about UN, we talk about Jesus. And then we pray. And I will impart more grace upon you. And you will return back, not as a religious fanatic, with a greater sense of intelligence. This is the vision, even behind the school of ministry. The school of ministry does not raise men of God alone. The school of ministry will raise men that will be used by God in every strata of human activities 
I made up my mind that as far as I'm concerned, I will never raise a people by the grace of God who are only spiritually vibrant. When you see me in the midst of politicians, know that it is ministry I'm doing there. And I don't have to be mentioning Jesus. I can help and we'll talk and say, okay, why don't we do this this way, this way? If I am confused, I know what to do. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. We have an advantage. Are we together? If you have headache, pray and fast. If it remains, go and look for a doctor. Doctor, you are anointed. Don't die the death of a fool because of pride. Meet a doctor who will just give you a prescription. When you are healthy, you can now keep serving God while you are growing. There are many people who are so fanatical about their positions. A simple drug that would have solved their problem. They would rather stay and say, no, I know, I am this. The word is working for me. I'm not a fanatic. Listen, listen, let me tell you. I believe in the power of God's word. You know it with all my trips and schedules. If I'm lying about this thing, you will know. Believe me, I say it without pride. There are many people, if you do one tenth of what I'm doing, you collapse in one week. I leave this place now maybe around 1, 2 and by 5.30 I'm on my way to the airport preaching two sessions for Baba Wale. Okay, I return back, have a meeting and the next thing I'm in Abidjan preaching every day until Saturday and we're already preparing for all of this. There are things you cannot fake. If it's not at work in you, it will show. However, however, I am not stupid. There are doctors here who have given me intelligent medical recommendations and I embraced it with wisdom. Are we together? Guide me on the kind of food to eat. There are some of you, by this service, from here, go to a chemist before you go home because you are not feeling fine. Don't die the death of a fool. I'm sorry, I'm talking, this, this is, I, I hope, I'm not, forgive me, eh? please. There are some of you here, the only thing in your world is money. Repent. Come and meet us. Let us balance the other side because this your pursuing money is leading you to trouble. You need to come and even take a maybe a three weeks break. No talk of money so that you fan your flames again. That's why God kept us here. But there are some of you, God brought you to stay one month and be on fire and then go back and continue. But you have built a camp here. You are not Elisha. Go back. Are we together? Kingdom financiers, we will need you when all the projects begin. So while we pray for you, keep learning the wisdom of Egypt. And when God empowers you, don't use the gold in Egypt to build an idol in the wilderness keep it it is for the tabernacle not for the idol Joseph even though Pharaoh will promote you you will marry the daughter of per of Potiphar the priest of on they will change your name do not forget that even though you are carrying an Egyptian name you are a covenant child. Never forget. Daniel, you will sit in the midst of a parliament where almost nobody loves the Lord. Never forget that it was your prayer that preserved you. So while you provide national solutions, every time you stop and you're hooked somewhere, look beyond the intellectual realm. Go back. The secret is still being revealed. The Holy Spirit is still alive. Hallelujah. Worship us. Please keep writing the songs. Because there are still Moabites who will try to walk against Judah. And there are times our swords will not be able to fight. Make sure when we need to win by worship, the songs should be ready. Are we together? Joseph of Arimathea, keep doing your real estate. That grave you bought will preserve something one day. 
the man who owns a donkey that you have not been told to ride don't feel bad it is Jesus who will ride on the donkey so take care of the donkey like Mary took care of Jesus go to the street that divides and you will see a colt that no man has ridden on lose it and if they ask you say the master has need of it there are people who will set up billion businesses and yet one naira from it will not be for them that is a cold that you yourself the owner is not allowed to enjoy because every time the master asks for it there is a crusade that needs 10 million instead of fasting and praying for money you fast and pray and say lord bring people because one kingdom financier says consider it done this talk of money that has mad the integrity of the church we have to kick that thing out there are intelligent people who accessing the wisdom of the spirit plus the anointing that comes from the holy spirit through priesthood can have what it takes to command the wealth of nations believe me i it is an insult to redemption to call for a prayer and fasting for weeks and the only thing is oh god visit us we need financial resources now there are better things when you fast and pray for a soul there are many things we are fasting and praying for that is unnecessary money can solve it you know i'm not lying oh god this rent and god says my dear daughter remember you rolled on the ground and told me i can use you there is a man of god somewhere who is about to lose the faith for the sake of the one thousand people there go and build him a house by the time you go there and say sir here is a key the key to this house the lord asked me to build it the question is among two of you who is a witness both of you if we say clap for who is walking most people will clap for the man of God and forget that the man of God would have plunged to depression and died and 1,000 members would have gotten into I was going to travel to Kenya and my passport was in another embassy I was almost going to miss that conference can you imagine hallelujah and thank God for people here one to one to contacting people at the highest level and they pulled out my passport and I was able to get there that nation was blessed not because a man was anointed alone but somebody else was doing his job somewhere too are we together I may be as anointed as you say and consider but I'm not the, the pilot who flies myself tomorrow by the grace of God people will be blessed and healed and delivered all through this week but how about the pilot who flies the plane how about the person who cooks to eat if you hear that I died for hunger is that is that a wise reason to die I wasn't my tired though just hunger are we together we're, we're about to pray what of the cloth I'm wearing as anointed as I am you bring me a needle and thread or you bring a what they call that thing the sewing machine I will stand and look at it like they, they looked at the writing on the wall now as I'm speaking to you right now there are professional kingdom minded tailors around this nation and around the world sewing my clothes so that I will look smart make no mistake to think they are not in ministry Are we together as we are here right now there are security people everywhere making sure there is maximum security within this location all kinds of an intelligent you know sometimes when I see the security architecture that they design I'm very very humble at the intelligence at the highest level the purpose of the training you are receiving here is because the gates of your assignment as far as its contribution to kingdom come is concerned is crying out for you for some of you you have remained in the temple for long the temple can become an idol more than the temple what you need is Jesus if your assignment is to go out there David if you are praying when Goliath is roaring Israel will die 
pray when you finish carry your weapons of war your destiny is to be a warrior that will later become a king Anna the prophetess if you leave the temple because you think you need money and you go and start being mentored by Joseph of Arimathea Jesus will not be able to come because the, your, the intercessory ministry will be corrupted by this teaching tonight I brought three things to you number one that there needs to be a rearrangement of our understanding as far as God's prophetic program and the revival coming is concerned that it is not only the spiritual aspect or the aspect of we men of God that is needed in this revival and that we men of God alongside the entire body must embrace the diversity of the operation of the spirit that will synergize itself together to capture the move of God. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be Holy God's fire!